Hello, this is Steve Harris. It is May 9th, 2013, and I'm going to show a little video here for um, testing the Luminode mainboard. Uh, I've got this unit here, which I have um, programmed to run some automated tests on the Luminode mainboard. Uh, it's plugged in, this is just for power, um, and then it has two connectors here. So I'm going to start with a working Luminode. Uh, and so of course the Luminode has two connectors, this for the um, PSOC and then this for the daughter board. And so what I've done is made a couple connectors on here that connect to those. So using this one, which can only fit in here in uh, a single direction, so I'm going to connect that like so. And then this one, um, the, it, it does matter which way it goes. Uh, so this side that has the smoothness rather than the exposed wires, that's facing out. So I'll connect that here. All right, so now we have this connected to the daughter board. So now if I, when I turn this on, you can see that the first LED here is flashing. So what that means is that it is programming the PSOC with some uh, test firmware. And it'll take just a minute. When it speeds up, that means it's verifying. And then if all goes well, it comes on solid, uh, indicating that it is on. And then, if you look at the bottom of the Luminode, you can see that uh, the RGB LED is cycling through the red, green, and blue values. And then this LED, this onboard LED, is blinking uh, just as a heartbeat to indicate that the PSOC is indeed programmed and functioning. Um, and so then now we can test the buttons on the uh, Luminode. Uh, and if I hit each one, you can see that it lights up each subsequent LED on here. So. Uh, now, when they're all four, all lit solid, that means it's passed. So now, I'm going to demonstrate this other Luminode, which is, whoops, which is not working. This one is, is not functional, so I'm going to hook it up to demonstrate the behavior when it is not working right. So again, this, this one connects onto here with the smooth part out, this part in, so it goes like this. Okay, so then now I'm going to turn this on, and you can see that it is, it, the, the first LED blinked three times and then stopped, uh, and now it's off. That means that it was unable to program the uh, PSOC. And so you can see the, the RGB LED still works because that's being driven from here, but the heartbeat LED is not going. We can still test the buttons as before. And so they, they're working, but this first one's off, so this one's bad. Um, and I, I can try it again without having to turn it off or anything. I just hit any one of the buttons, and you can see it's trying. but it failed. Uh, and this one came on because this is a toggle button. So if I were to try it again, yeah, so again, the buttons work. And, and also, you probably can hear it, the relay, every time it goes through a complete cycle of the uh, RGB LED, it toggles the relay. It'll only do that if this has not already been t disabled, but that clicking indicates that it is indeed working. So this one, the PSOC's not working, the buttons work, the RGB LED works, but this one's a dud. So just to show one more time what the proper one looks like, I'm going to hook this guy back up because I can run it again just fine. So I'm going to connect that up, connect that up, turn it on, 
and it's blinking indicating it's programming it. Faster indicate it's verifying it. Solid on means that it's succeeded. We've got the heartbeat. We've got the RGB cycling through and each time it gets through you can hear it click. That is normal. Now if I hit this button it will no longer click because I've now disabled that, that functionality but the light here indicates that it's on. So what you really want to look for to make sure everything's working is to, is to have all four LEDs lit up and that means this one passed. Alright, that's it. About as simple as I can make it. Thanks.